What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, the Earthmaster here checking in on the live stream uh, about 6 p.m. California time on this December, uh, what is it? December 8th, 2021. It is Wednesday evening. 4.4 earthquake, the latest earthquake here to strike the uh, offshore of the Oregon region. Although, uh, got an earthquake coming into the uh, Japan area, not showing up yet on the USGS um globe far as the data goes but it looks as though it may be coming in uh to the emsc station let's go ahead and check out the activity real quick i just wanted to see if japan had it listed on their live seismograph station because we have a uh, about a 6.0 earthquake coming into the uh, japan region according to the uh, emsc but i don't see it on there okay let's go ahead and run over to the uh, uh window here real quick Pop that up, there we go. So 4.4, latest earthquake, 0148 UTC time. That earthquake had occurring uh, about 20 minutes or so ago. Uh, still ramping up some activity off the coast of Oregon. Uh, looking over here to the west around the Japan area, I don't see that uh, earthquake activity kicking up yet uh, that the EMSC is reporting. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here to their website real quick and we can see uh well i don't see it it's not popping up but we did get a notification at least here on let me see where this is at i don't see it okay it's kind of it's kind of on an earthquake app showing a 6.0 over here in this section of the world but uh, we'll wait we'll definitely wait and we'll cover some activity uh, and see if that earthquake comes in. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the activity here along the Oregon coastline. Well, off the Oregon coastline, people tend to get uh, irritated for some reason when I say it's off the Oregon coast, but technically it is. It's right off the Oregon coast. Um, so what do we got here? 54 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Does, that does not include all earthquake activity um, from yesterday. So we need to go back to the seven days, all magnitudes here. And most of this activity, not only within the last 24 hours, but also earlier yesterday in the day, 71 earthquakes striking the Oregon swarm. Uh, pretty significant swarming activity still. Once again, we haven't seen any major fives since yesterday. We had that uh, massive amount of 5.0 earthquake activity late last night. Overnight, we've seen some further fives and lots and lots of fours and threes. Uh, but far as any uh, upper fives, the last five was a 5.3, a little bit further south of where we're seeing that 4.4 uh, just now. But we are seeing a migration, folks, over here to the west and to the south of the Blanco Fracture Zone into the Pacific side of the plate here. Not the Juan de Fuca plate, but uh, on the Pacific side. But either way, nonetheless, activity still remains elevated on the uh, North American Pacific plate, uh, Juan de Fuca plate interaction boundary. So down here along the Gorda plate this is a pretty deep earthquake 4.0 that struck <clears throat> late last night early this morning 27.3 kilometers down here uh, I'm really surprised we haven't seen further activity in this region but that could soon change let's see if they've issued that yet nope nothing over there may have been a false earthquake I don't know sometimes these earthquake apps they uh, post uh, phantom earthquakes and it's like okay it's definitely a Definitely uh, kind of eerie. I didn't see it show up on the Japan station. That's kind of why I'm questioning the uh, uh, if it's a, a real earthquake or not around the Japan area. Puerto Rico region seeing some movement uh, just on the southwest corner. Things kind of dying down though. Not not a whole lot more activity over here around the South America, Middle America trench. Uh, South Sandwich Islands did see some further movement uh, throughout the day today with a 5.0. This one deep. 106 kilometers into the trench region of the South Sandwich Islands area um, and also some further activity into, uh, into the interior part of the states here in the North American plate. Looks like uh, Kansas had some activity we discussed earlier right around the uh, Salina area 4.3 and a 3.1 activity really ramping up here in the Pecos Texas region over the last 24 hours and also it uh, looks like a new earthquake around the New Madrid zone 1.6 coming in to the still looks like still right hopefully i pronounced that correctly missouri region 10 and 11 kilometers for that pair of earthquakes there uh, last one of course within the last hour 
striking right smack dab on the New Madrid fault zone, a little bit further east in the Tennessee, North Carolina border region, a 2.5. Out in the Big Island, seeing a little bit of renewed earthquake activity on the southeast flank and also Mauna Loa. And it looks like a Kilauea volcano showing some signs of uh, some uh, more surface lava out there around the crater region. I checked that out earlier around the uh, Kilauea area. And it looks like things are kind of picking up there when it comes to uh, uh, lava flows around the crater. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory kind of updated their system today. Shows uh, a lot of cool stuff, a little bit more uh, um, different designs than uh, what they had. But it does show the activity here over last week, stretching down from the southeast flank region all the way out to the Lohi Seamount, which is still uh, surprisingly unassigned. Uh, every other volcano out here in the Big Island uh, appears to be at least assigned to something far as like the alert level uh, whether it's green um, you know elevated you know it's I don't know why I don't know why they don't have it uh, listed as a uh, any type of uh, assigned volcano but uh, well I guess we'll see if that changes because there's been quite a bit of earthquake activity here over the last week within that region uh, so anyway let's get back out here into the Pacific kind of want to see if they've updated anything yet uh, I don't see it looking at the seismos there it is on the Japan station uh, you can see that station just going off the top there that's a uh, definitely a good signature of an earthquake uh, looks like potentially a 6.0 for sure um, so USGS not showing it yet want to check out the EMSC there we go EMSC is posting it 6.0 earthquake right there on the uh, map from the EMSC folks this one uh, about 40 km what do we got depth depth 40 kilometers 6.0 uh, check out the general area and location uh, for this region looks like uh, yeah right uh, on the northwest side of the Philippine Philippine plate south of mainland out there of the Japan region it's kind of some elevated area we've been watching this region for a while uh, up north of here uh, but definitely uh, picking up in activity uh, just south of there looks like when did this one strike 5.1 that was earlier this morning it looks like but uh, still kind of keeping an eye on in in general aside from this zone right here but in general uh, for some re relief possible relief for the west coast uh, activity we see a larger earthquake a much larger earthquake than the 6.0 and much deeper uh, that could allow for a little bit of relief and uh, an end to the uh, swarming activity off the coast of Oregon at least temporarily so we'll see if that takes place but for now 6.0 earthquake uh, south over here kind of towards the East China East China Sea uh, south of southwest of Tokyo region uh, still not listed from the USGS but it will it will definitely come in here pretty soon. Takes them a little while. There's no doubt. Definitely takes them a little while. Uh, Indonesia area seen some further movement with some deep earthquake activity all throughout this area. Uh, 281 kilometers for the most recent 4.7 there struck throughout the day in the Indonesia area. Uh, not a whole lot going on in this region of the world. A couple uh, minor earthquakes throughout the Pakistan area and also uh, Greece 4.6 uh, kicking up in that area. Atlantic remains relatively quiet except for way down here of course that South Sandwich Islands uh, trench earthquake earlier and uh, like I say it's just still we're still kind of like on that teeter-totter effect right now with the west coast uh, meaning the eastern plate here the Pacific plate and the western areas over here um, kind of go hand in hand it's always been that way from what I can see a pretty active over here along the west coast uh, until we see some significant movement over here uh, along the western part of the Pacific Plate and areas to the west here. That's when we can expect to see potentially a, a relief in some stress built up over here. And, uh, you know, like I said, a possible end to the swarm activity off the coast of Oregon. But uh, we're still kind of watching it, folks. Still pretty active at the moment. Into the Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet when it comes to surface quakes. Some movement throughout the Montana and the Idaho area. Stretching, uh, stretching down through Utah and the Nevada regions. Southern California, not a whole lot of movement down there. It looks like just some scattered activity 
through the San Jacinto fault zone and a little bit of movement along the Pacific side of the plate boundary uh, just in the Santa uh, Santa Lucia range mountain range out there on the uh, western side of the uh, uh, plate boundary check out Yellowstone real quick see what's going on there in the uh, super volcano not a whole lot going on at all I'm really surprised we haven't seen any type of swarming going on following all the activity along the west coast there is all the activity from last night and throughout the day off the coast of Oregon showing up pretty uh, nicely on a lot of the seismograph stations that are properly tuned in the Yellowstone area. Trimmer activity into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone shows about 31 trimmers once again into the southwestern edge or southwestern part of Oregon and into the very southern end of the Cascadia here in Northern California, just north of me a little bit. Uh, this looks about the same as yesterday. Actually yesterday, I think we had about 79 uh, trimmers, 72 trimmers in the same area as we're seeing today. So kind of keep an eye on things, folks. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, I don't think we're over. There's the, uh, look at this, okay, USGS downgrade, uh, that 6.0 to a 5.9. Japan, 10 kilometers. So still kind of watching this region, folks. Remember what I said here about the uh, larger, deeper earthquake activity. If that does indeed happen very soon, uh, we could watch this activity disappear in the blink of an eye when it, when it comes to the uh, swarming movement here in the uh, Juan de Fuca plate, uh, Pacific plate boundary and the interaction here. The Blanco fracture zone is the official name for it. But nonetheless, still keep an eye on the West Coast, folks. I'm not dropping that earthquake watch. Uh, until we see a complete end to the swarming um, a lot of times and, and sometimes a lot of times we don't see swarming activity uh, prior to a big earthquake but when we're this close uh, on a uh, subduction zone that's been uh, awfully quiet for 321 years with a tremendous amount of built-up stress we have to uh, take an account for uh, all the activity knocking on its door over the last 24 36 hours so stay safe folks uh, we'll be back uh, kind of wa watching the activity all night again. It's pretty early, but uh, we'll see how the night goes. We'll be on the live stream, so check in here if you want and uh, come on by for a little bit of conversation. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.